Well, hello, and today's topic for the water heater install is the finally the last part, which is the piping. We're going to start with the cold water coming out of here and going down and around and tapping into right there. I'm probably going to change around some of the stuff. The, this cold water line to the sink, I'll probably go ahead and just take that out and cut all this out, just you know, straighten all that out. Cut all this out here. This is cold water going to the upstairs bathroom. So what I'll do is probably cut it there and probably cut it uh, there. And then what I'm gonna do is come, come out here, T in again to there, and then T that in, or sorry, probably just bring this thing straight down and so I just I just basically couple the half inch to this three quarter to a T and then in and then just out here and then T directly up. I think that will look cleaner to just T right into there and get rid of this little thing, this L here. And then probably just continue straight along the wall like the other pipe and just go all the way around the wall here. And then what I could do is just continue it then I might just kind of jog under my gas piping and then catch the cold water with three quarter inch and then come down here and then catch this cold water here. That way I don't have just this random half inch copper line running as well. The first thing I'm doing actually is because this is kind of like a union, it's like one of these fittings here. It's a FIP, a three quarter inch FIP. I went ahead and just started working right now. I just took a piece of three quarter inch pipe and I soldered one of these fittings, three quarter inch FIP to sweat onto there. Uh, I'm gonna put, put a little Teflon tape. I'm gonna put a little uh, uh, thread compound or pipe dope on that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and thread this guy on and put cut the pipe to to, to where I want and slide this up and then that'll union into there. One thing to be aware of uh, that I noticed is usually unions have a flat, let me see if I have one here, they usually have a flat style washer like this, these type of things. I'm thinking like kind of like these type unions right here. But this one, it does have that on the upper side, but on the lower side it does not. It has instead this O-ring that pre oops, that presses into here. This thing fell out on me, so just be careful when you're doing this that you don't lose this O-ring, because it, it does press into there and it does stay, but it did fall out on me. So just make sure when you go to uh, fit this on there and you know before you go to fit your pipe on there that that O-ring is not missing. Okay, I'm gonna turn you off and do a little bit of sweating and turn you back on when it, I find something interesting to show. Went ahead and cut off this section here. Uh, it's probably longer than I need, but went ahead and did the thread sealant and the pipe dope and put, basically just threaded this end, on, this end onto here and then just pulled that thing up from up there. And then this will go, like I said, no, th no sealant, sealant or thread needed because there is a gasket in there. And that will just thread into here Oops. Eh, I can't do it with one hand, but you get the idea. The other thing I already did here was I took this this union off. I put thread and pipe sealant, or thread uh, tape and pipe sealant on here, and I used the wrenches to a wrench to turn this on. This again, the threads in this union do not need sealant because there's a rubber gasket that makes it watertight. Maybe I'll just do a high level of all the tools I'm using, just for the maybe the new people out there. A couple of slip joint pliers to uh, be able to wrench on these these uh, fittings here. Uh, obviously, some three quarter inch pipe. I got another ten foot. Some flux. I like this Blue Monster thread tape. I also got some Mega Lock um, thread sealant, but I still have this left, so I'm just going to use it. But this is just some cheap thread sealant marker for marking the. The pipe were to cut. It's lead three free plumbing solder, a good 
pipe cutter and then a close quarter pipe cutter for those pipes that are close to the wall some tape to clean the the pipe a thread uh, pipe reamer a uh, fittings brush some tape measure a bunch, bunch of various fittings and you know tees and elbows and whatnot some propane and soldering torch i like this one with with the uh, extension line so you can just clip this guy to your hip and not have to basically you don't you just just solder with this and that that on your hip so you don't have to have the bottle attached to your to your soldering it kind of helps and then i have you know various other fittings and everything else a level is also important to make sure your pipes go straight up and down or left to right and that's pretty much it so i will uh start working on draining down the pipes and probably start doing some soldering i might have a couple shots of me soldering but we'll see I just want to mainly want to get this thing done and I'm not really going to teach you too much about soldering. All right, I'm super tired. I'm done. It's not done done, but a lot's been done. So you can see, finished off my lines. All that's been redone. All that was, you know, fixed. I still gotta put some, I'm gonna put some hangers here on the wall with some Tapcons to make sure that has no problem uh, hanging there. On the hot water side, I'm so glad I do it. Now I have nothing in my way here. I'm so glad I, I, I decided to do that, even though it was such a pain. So cold water now taps off the, uh, that, that cold water line that goes upstairs. Hot water taps off there. That's half inch for this but three quarter inch for the hot water because that's ultimately what's going to change out. That's going to be the output of my hot water heater. So that's all three quarter inch. Then I tap off there to a half inch and then into the faucet. So it looks pretty good. Pipes are decently level. I don't know. I tried to level everything. Not quite done yet. Still going to read the instruction manual. Still gotta look to see what this thing is. It's it's a it's a little wet because I got some spray on it from me testing the water. It's got this little plug on it and it had a little warning label. Where is that? Let me see if I can find that. So I gotta read the instructions, but basically it says the condensate trap drain must be plumbed to a suitable drain away from the water here. I'm gonna look at what that I think that's probably just a little bit. I mean, this is just plastic, so I imagine all I got to do is just put like a hose clamp and a flexible, maybe a flexible little little line just down into the sink here. And then this guy, the overflow valve, I've also, I got, I probably should have bought another one of these and I probably will. I've got to buy that and then plumb it down and over and then into the sink. So there'll be a bunch of little little drops like that little condensate drain, the uh, relief valve drain. Lots of stuff's gonna be draining in this sink as well as my water softener, you know, but whatever. It's a utility sink, we rarely use it. We still, we have another whole basin over here if we wanna use it. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna deal with that condensate drain, read the rest of the instructions, get the relief valve done next. Well guys, just a quick update here. I decided instead of uh, trying to finish out all the uh, the copper work, I would just see if everything works. So what I did here was, in lieu of getting, I, I have the wrong size. This is 3 8 inch. I need half inch inner diameter um, flexible tubing. So I happen to have that in the garage and it's not gonna work, so I'm gonna have to go to the, to the store. So right now I just got something catching condensation if it comes out. Uh, so I'll, I'll do that. I still haven't done my overflow. Uh, I did shut off these um, uh, drain these drain fittings for service and turn the water on 
turn the gas on and plug the unit in and then um, I went ahead and uh, hit the power button on here set the temperature and everything is now working so I now have hot water so you can hear when I turn the hot water on the flow starts you can actually hear the unit working and I get hot water now what I did on this side but all I did there was shut the cold water into the water heater off. I disconnected, I already had shark bite hoses. I know, I know, don't flame me for that, but that's what I had on there. So I put a shark bite cap on there temporarily. And so now I can just bypass the water heater and then I just turned it off. I can run like this for a month once I feel comfortable with the new tankless unit. Then I can go ahead and reconfigure that copper, just re-sweat it, clean it all up and get rid of that and this will be ready to remove. Now, one thing that I'm gonna talk about in my next, in my fo follow-up final video, which is the most important thing is, and I'll go in through it in detail, is the venting. It's two inch venting, like I said, it's 13 feet. In the main manual, I am in spec for what they say, how long you can run two inch venting, including how many elbows you can have with that run. In the quick guide, quick install guide, it says something completely different. So in the next video, what I'm going to do, and this is very important, again, I'm not recommending you follow, I'm, or not, I'm not guaranteeing or, or saying that I'm an expert in these water uh, heater installations. So always consult the advice of the professionals and the manufacturer. But what I'm going to do in my next video is I'm going to call Ream and I'm going to clear up which one is right, which one is wrong, because they're two completely conflicting pieces of information saying how long you can run two inch piping. And so I'll clarify that and I'll give you more detail on the different types of elbows and how restrictive the, they are for airflow and um, basically just give you what they tell me and, and, and a cl more clarity on how to be in spec with how much vent piping uh, you need whether you need to go to two inch or three inch or whatever so we'll talk uh, about that in the next video but for now I'm pretty happy everything's working 